Hey team, happy Tuesday and happy first day of school, back to school, back to work for teachers today. I've been working like for the last 10 years of my life, so today doesn't really mean much for me. So while I know the feeling is like, oh my God, summer's over, we still have three weeks. And as I've established before, it's peach season. And so I'm gonna do a little baking today. As most of you know, despite my love of baking, I'm actually not a huge sweets person, but there is one cake in particular that is absolutely delicious, especially when using, you know, fresh local peaches. And that is a peach cake that my mom gave me the recipe to. I forget where she got it from, but she makes it every year and it's absolutely divine. So we're gonna do that today. So we're gonna start off by mixing some sugar, some orange juice, and some eggs together. And we're gonna beat this for about five minutes. You wanna make sure that you beat it for the full five minutes. Otherwise, the cake will still taste good, but it will come out very dense. So you wanna make sure that your egg whites are nice and aerated. Look at how nice and light and frothy that is. That's what you're looking for. To the bowl, we just added in some oil, salt, baking powder, and flour, and we're gonna mix it until it's just combined. No more than that, otherwise you're gonna deflate your egg whites. Now, peach cake, a symbol. Now we're gonna start by pouring about half of our batter into a greased and floured, definitely do both, I've made that mistake before, bun pan. And so this is going to have a lovely peach layer in the middle and on top. And the amazing thing about this cake as well is that come the fall time, you can use this exact batter with apples and it turns out absolutely delicious. So you're going to take about three or four peaches that you would have peeled and sliced. And so some of your slices are gonna turn out lovely and beautiful like this. And some of the other ones you have might look like kind of little end pieces. So you definitely wanna use some of the bigger ones in the middle, but because you're not going to be able to see this middle layer from the outside, you can use up more of these little bits and fill in all of the gaps. You end up with a little something that looks like this. And so what we're gonna do on this layer is we're gonna sprinkle it with a layer of sugar and a layer of cinnamon. Ooh, this looks so good. We're gonna repeat the layering with the other half of the batter, but because this side is going to be visual, you want it to be a little bit prettier, so you want to pick and choose the nicer slices that you have. And if you end up with some leftover peaches, just eat them, they're delicious. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. Oh, look at how pretty it is. And with that cinnamon sugar, my whole apartment basically smells like a bakery. It's kind of amazing. I want to take it out of the pan like right now, but gotta let it cool for a minute and then I'll be able to kind of flip it out. All right team, so the cake is cooled and so we are going to try and flip it out. Kind of. Gently. And this is why we grease and flour the pan. One more flip. And this now, we have a beautiful peach cake. Happy Tuesday.